Yeah, some beautiful music. That's at Des Moines Roosevelt High School Bridges to Harmony Choir performing this morning at the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day Prayer Breakfast at Drake University. More than 500 people attended the event at the Knapp Center. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh, he was the MC. Well, a lot of businesses were closed for MLK Day, but that doesn't mean people weren't still putting in some work. That's right. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh dropped in on people hard at work trying to give back in the name of the civil rights leader. Stacey and Steve, we found people who wanted to do something to give back and were not afraid to get their hands dirty. At Community Youth Concepts in Des Moines, people couldn't wait to dig in. It's too mushy. Their hands show how hard they were working to make Christmas ornaments. Kristen Boyd brought her three children to be part of giving back because she says it is very important. Martin Luther King Jr. is a holiday is an important holiday to our family, so we just wanted to come do something in the community to celebrate that. For many, it is a day to do something for others, and they dismiss the mere mention of the holiday being a day off. It's a day on um, for us and for everyone else. Um, Amy Kroll is the executive director of Community Youth Concepts, CYC. She believes the giving back that is being done here and other places on the holiday is catching on. There are young people who agree, saying they feel compelled, especially on the King holiday, to do something for someone else. It's almost pointless to stay home today. We're here, you see little kids out here giving back to the community, painting and doing extra stuff, and while they're at home doing nothing, they're not really acknowledging Martin Luther King Jr. Day. CYC started MLK Jr. Service Day in 2010 as a volunteer service project for volunteers and their families, hoping giving back will be a daily occurrence, not just the holiday. Volunteer service doesn't have to happen just one day out of the year, though. This should be an ongoing, consistent part of people's lives. Everything made today from the Christmas tree ornaments to the cards to the food pantry that was being painted will be donated to nonprofit agencies that help homeless veterans, homeless youth, and people who are homebound. Stacy.